Hey, what's up everybody? It's Beeler again, and uh, today I just want to cover a little bit more on Fibonacci retracements besides that older video that I have, because that really does break down Fibonacci pretty well, as well as the note inside Keys chat, but I wanted to put this video in the private playlist for you guys, because this is just a little more extra information you can do when uh, kind of applying Fibonacci retracements. The next note and video I'll do for Fibonacci will be on the extensions. I saw a couple requests on that. Um, so I'll do that one next, but for now I'm going to do this one, just a small little summary uh, of some extra Fibonacci stuff you guys can do that's with just trend lines and Fibonacci retracements. Uh, and you can utilize your price level, but I'm going to show you guys exactly what I did um, for the uh, for the square, square analysis that I posted in chat, and then we can do a second chart if we, if we really want to. Um, so first off, you just want to draw a trend line, and you want to have a good trend line. If you don't know how to draw a good trend line, please go to my trend line video. But I'm just going to go ahead and draw this one. We definitely know that was a trend line that was pretty recently broken. So I'm just going to break that down. Um, so let's stay right here on the daily. I'm going to move over to my Fibonacci retracement tool. I'm going to grab from the low of that candle to the high of that move off of that trend line. I'm going to move down to the, a smaller time frame. I did that on the daily, so now here I am on the 30-minute, uh, so I've broken down a little more, and you can see how well it was using the Fibonacci levels from that daily run-up. Um, I was just using the move of that big run-up to the high, which it's actually off a little. Let me move that. Let's make it exact. But, as you can see, Square pushed up all the way to 247, and it has retraced about 50% of its price and bounced off of that. Now we're moving for the move here on 218.66. So what levels are pretty close around that? So we have kind of this range covered below. Let's just zoom in on right here. So let's cover that high because I like that one that Wick almost got there. You have that high, nothing there, high. And then it was kind of a support push up there before the big run up. And then also if you look on the right side, it's a uh, support before resistance. So we have kind of the 80% entry on puts here, not really saying enter puts, just saying that it's a very strong resistance now. So we're gonna be having to watch that 221.15. Um, but that break above on that uh, Fibonacci will be a great entry above 218.60s, play to 221.15. And then above that, I would look for probably this high just because you do have kind of some continuation right here and then it pushed up held support here then pushed up and then you look over here and it was kind of used as support before it ended up falling uh just kind of ugly so it looks like 224 25 would be a good second target and then let's get a good trade plan for the below side so i see that we have a great strong level down here at 210 but there's nothing else besides that so we're gonna have to mark something um i instantly like this high right here because it kind of marks that resistance, that resistance, and then it had that high pushed under one directional, one directional push back up. So recovery, all that's canceled out. And then uh, in that pre-market after it came back up, it ended up holding there. And then as well as during the intraday, and then you never had it go back up there again. It just kind of had an uptrend since then. So that's a pretty good level too. Um, also, if you just zoom in right here and get that low of day and then extend that to the left, you end up getting a good support catch here as well as on recent price. So... Our trade plan, as I posted in chat, will be just as so. It'll be above 218.60 to 221.15, 224.25, and then below 215.50s to 213.20s to even 210 uh, is kind of like what we're going to be looking ahead. Unless uh, this will change most likely if market was to gap up or down pretty big, so be aware of that and then redo your line, of course. But that's just a small little tip you guys can do on Square. All right, so let's do one more example here on Roku. So I'm going to back out back to the daily. I'm going to grab a good strong trend line, which I'm pretty sure it's broken its strong trend line by now. Yeah, if I was to take it from, let's just say here, kind of right along that edge there, because you have a touch there, touch there, touch there, touch there. So one, two, three, four, five, and then the break. So the rule of five was kind of big on that one. Let's go to the 30 minute. Oh, wait, let's go back. My bad. I right, forgot to step myself. All right, so let's grab the low of this move. And then let's move it to the high, so 363.44. And then we'll move down to the 30 minute. Just a f more favorable time frame for me to see about the whole month's information just so we can focus more on current price. Um, so we can kind of zoom in about right here just because it's already kind of, we already got the zones kind of covered on that one. Uh, let's let's see what's pretty crucial on price right here. So it's kind of broken a pretty crucial Fibonacci. Um, we've seen one other test here, but that was the 80%. Uh, retest we've had one two three on the break so we're going to be looking for a slight retracement uh even further on roku unless market proves otherwise so let's kind of look for another level below um i really like this level right here it's about 327.80 but i really like it because we have a resistance and then we have the support catch right here so you have the resistance 
and then you have the support catch before it continued its uptrend to its all-time high. Uh, so I'm going to be looking for a retracement to 327.70s. That'll be big. If we get the support catch there, then I think we'll come back up and have to retest um, that 333s. That'll be a big retest again. As you can see, it was already a good resistance over here uh, before it went back down and then back up. So that, that was already a good, important line there. And then we have, of course, our 327.70s. So we're kind of watching this range right here for Roku. Um, if it's to pop back up tomorrow, I would expect a green recovery day tomorrow. So if you see this start above 333s tomorrow, expect a green day for Roku. If it comes under this, expect a red day. If it's in here, we're kind of playing the 50-50 on that one. We'll be watching for those break levels with farther out targets, um, which I can mark some targets right now. I really like this level for the above if it is to recover just because that is a very strong resistance before a bigger push up. There's a gap range above it right here. There's not much price action above it besides that slight range. And then you have a little bit of resistance here from a few previous days. So that's really big. Um, I really like that as a target if it is to have a rally. If it is to break 327.70s, uh, let's see over here. What's a good strong support we see touching multiple spots? There's a spot here, spot here, spot here, spot here. So let's, let's mark about right there just because you have that kind of dropping as the rising sellers are coming over here on that day that's the resistance before that day support 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 so i really like that level as a target if it is to hold under 327.70s um, there is another slight level here that i like as well i mean it's just kind of hard to place on this day let's see right here right there so there's kind of a good resistance right here if i extend this to the left um, so one that was utilized during the sell-off, of course, and then you had the, which tested the trend line later on. And then we have resistance on this day before it pushed up and held, kind of held that range, held that range, held that range up right up here before the push-up. So these are a few levels below that we can watch for Roku as the week goes on. Um, I hope this video helped you guys with Fibonacci, Fibonacci retracements and just price action, technical analysis, all that good stuff. Um, if you want more of these, please let me know and uh, I'll get on it.